fellow SBGers from uh, everywhere, I guess. Welcome to a uh, special PNP. Um, it is actually my birthday today, so gonna do things a little differently. Uh, it will not be a pint today because it's my birthday. I've decided to go with a fine Canadian rye whiskey. So this is uh, Centennial. It is uh, magically delicious um, from High River, Alberta. Good uh, Canadian rye whiskey. So that is what uh, I'm going to be enjoying today on PNP. It's delicious. Uh, smooth, very, very smooth. This is uh, an excellent rye. I would recommend it to anybody LCBO here in Ontario. I'm sure you can find it uh, on any corner store in Alberta. <laughs> Lucky buggers. But, uh, anyways, that's what we're drinking today for PNP. So, uh, cheers, boys. All right, uh, special birthday project because it is uh, my birthday. I've decided, you know what, I'm going to do uh, work on something that I want to work on um, and not something that has to be worked on <laughs> for a change, which is uh, awesome. Um, you know, we got a lot of events going on, so obviously there's a big push to get miniatures, terrain, things of that nature. But uh, since it's my birthday, I figured I was going to. Uh, play with something that uh, a good friend of mine was able to get for me to complete my collection. So uh, I had a little bit of help from uh, my little girl, the uh, Shield Maiden of Glenwood. So um, we went for a little walk this morning, got a couple, picked out some perfect stones for the base. So I've used, actually I'll show you here shortly and there will be pictures at the end, but a large Flames of War base uh, for artillery pieces and the like, just to make a little display piece. I uh, got some stones on there, and it is a Gimli model, and uh, it's actually my favorite model of the range. So that is uh, the current birthday project. So just doing a little uh, sort of vignette with it. Uh, it's going to be obviously a display piece more than anything else, but uh, given the fact that uh, you know we've got some Rohan-esque projects on the go, uh, I'm sure I'm going to be able to throw them on the table just for... Uh, just for laughs. So that's uh, that's the current project and then I figured while I was doing that obviously I'd get a start on um, a regular foot mounted Gimli just so they match. Uh, foot mounted, that didn't make any sense did it? It's the whiskey boys. It'll do it to you. So anyways that's sort of the um, sort of the little project I'm working on today. Pretty excited about it. And it's, uh, it's a nice little switch so Stay tuned for that. I'll get some pictures up and uh, let you guys follow along with the uh, with the process and the like. So, uh, moving on to OHA news. Um, train progress for Bog is progressing uh, amazing. George is killing it. Uh, he has a really stunning piece. There were some photos that do not do the piece any justice. Last episode, there'll be more this episode. Um, a lot more impressive, great sense of scale. Just really impressive piece. If you didn't see the uh, the pictures from last week, it's it's basically it's the front gates of NRS, um, which is going to be awesome. So we're going to be running a scenario here at Bog, basically a um, uh, the attack of Edoras, the siege of Edoras, uh, I guess would be the best way to put it. I think. So a little bit of a custom scenario, but it's going to be fun. We got uh, we got some new players coming out, so we're going to use that as sort of a, an entry point, you know, um, and uh, get the guys playing that way. So obviously we'll still have tables available for those of you who want to come down and play the 700 point games. Uh, there's been definitely some interest in uh, guys expressing they want to play some battle companies. So we're not fussy boys. This is sort of an open day, good time, uh, beers, barbecue, you know, uh, play whatever you want as long as it's SPG. I don't care. Um, play War of the Ring for all I care. Bring, you know, 10,000 points of miniatures. That would be awesome. I'll put tables together for you. We'll, we'll figure it out. So, anyways, uh, that is upcoming. Um, tables, chairs, everything. Details are all coming together. So, it's shaping up to be a great event. Um, can't wait. Really looking forward to meeting some new people and uh, getting some new players exposed to the game and, and obviously playing with some, some of the older players as well. So, um, only I will say is again, confirmation has to be received by July 7th. It looks like we've got about 10 
individuals so far, not including some local people that will be attending as well as some event organizers. Um, so if you are going to attend, you need to let me know or the OHA or George or somebody, you got to let us know ASAP uh, just so we can make sure logistically we can cover you, uh, make sure that we've got space for you to play. Uh, if I need to bring more tables in, I need to know about it now, not uh, you know when you show up at 11 o'clock in the morning, which you know is cool, but also weird, so don't do it. Message us. Let us know. We'll be prepared for you, okay? Um, KegsCon. The title of the OHA event, okay, fun. Um, OHA event is Scouring the West Farthing, uh, 400 points, 16 spots, taking place in Chatham, Ontario at the Retro Suite September 30th. Uh, there is going to be a players pack coming out right shortly. Um, you know, what I can tell you is sort of fast, furious gameplay, uh, tight boards, tight boards. Um, uh, as I said in the previous videos, uh, deployment and generalship is going to be huge. Um, you know, take a little less emphasis off of the cheese and more on to how good a general you are. So, uh, looking forward to that. Retro Suites, beautiful spot. There have been some rooms that have come available. As I told you before, there's been some issues with the rooms. There was a few that came up. Just keep calling. You're going to get something if you're interested in coming down. Uh, we do have a small private room booked the Friday night for anybody who is attending the day early. Um, you know, we're going to do a scenario of some sort. I think we can... Pardon me, accommodate up to 10 players in that room. Uh, so if you're interested in coming down the night before, uh, do sort of a beer and pretzels and, uh, you know, uh, exercise our livers uh, prior, prior to the event. You know, it's important to make sure that you stretch and, and limber up. So uh, the OHA will be doing that and uh, providing a venue for you to do that because it's important to, uh, you know, make sure every organ in the body is working. So don't leave any out. It's not right. Um, no entry fee for the SBG event, simply a $10 cover to get into the KegsCon convention. That's going to give you access to other games. You know, if you're waiting for another player or waiting for something to do, there's going to be lots to do. There's vendors, there's food, there's booze, there's, I mean, everything. Free event for SBG wise. Come on down, support KegsCon. Great bunch of guys really trying to do something good for the hobby. Uh, you know, we can definitely find synergies here between the two groups and, uh, you know, help them get people through the door and it gives us a great venue to play some awesome games. So hope you guys can come down and support that. We look forward to it and, uh, more information to come from our, uh, tournament organizing specialist, Owen, just saying, um, recent changes to the Facebook page and YouTube channel. Uh, we've gone in and sort of streamlined a number of things on the uh, YouTube channel. Just wanted to make it easier for you guys to find content on the channel. Uh, got some playlists created, you know, moved everything around, uh, kind of updated it. We are going to get on to doing a channel trailer, which I think is uh, definitely going to be important. George brought up the idea. I think it's brilliant. Um, so we're going to film something along the lines of that, but uh, might include some other members so that you guys don't just think it's me in my basement doing all this stuff alone like some weird guy there is more of us i promise i really do just none of them like to be in front of camera not that i like to but no one else is going to do it so i'll have a whiskey and do it um george recently updated the facebook platform uh keeping it fresh and, and up to date so um you know that's terrific uh there was some sharing of that photograph. I'll put it at the end as well. Looks great. Love it. Um, also does a great job of indicating we are on all three platforms. So Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So just look us up. Ontario Hobbit Adventures. On any of the platforms, we're going to come up. Um, Instagram is doing really well. Uh, we've got a lot of followers on that. But uh, if you're not following us over there, go over there, check it out. There's a lot of stills. Um, there is some crossover from the Facebook to the Instagram, just simply because we have some followers that follow us on Instagram and don't on Facebook, and some on Facebook that don't follow us on Instagram. So we like to cover all the bases, but, uh, um, you know, it's a great spot to just grab some inspiration, and I know that's what I use it for. Um, obviously not necessarily my stuff, but going on and looking at other people's stuff, it, uh, it's a great way to get inspired and, and draw from that for uh, inspiration for your own projects. So... Check us out on that. Um, 
it's doing great and uh thank you guys all for the, for the support it's, it's going terrific so um some exciting news coming out of nova uh devon down there in uh in virginia has uh confirmed the attendance of adam troke which is pretty cool uh so for those of you who don't know uh, adam troke is sort of head of the sbg team uh, he is going to be in attendance at Nova. Um, I think it's a huge nod to the North American SBG groups. Uh, it shows GW is really recognizing the level of support and excitement that we've we've been able to build at around SBG here on the other side of the pond. Uh, and I really don't think think they're going to send the big dog over empty-handed. Um, I would guess he's going to come bearing gifts what it is obviously i have no idea i can speculate you know whether it's uh dwarven crossbows uh you know maybe something even more epic than that you know uh, as i was watchtower something along those lines but uh, i would be very surprised if there wasn't something coming across with them um you know obviously there's going to be the seminar i would imagine the seminar is going to be kind of along the same lines as the one that we saw at a warhammer fest but um I would say it's it's definitely an opportunity for them to capitalize on momentum in the North American market to bring over some sort of new release, um, you know, something exclusive to Nova. Uh, you know, that's going to quiet down some of the voices that have been expressing discontent over the fact that uh, everything gets released to the UK first, and rightfully so. I mean, they're right there. That's their home base. I mean, that's uh, it's not something that I personally have a problem with, but I do know there is people that are upset about it, and it would be quite cool to get a Nova or North American exclusive um, and be able to get some stuff posted on the internet before those dirty, limey Brits. Just saying. It'd be nice for, for, like, Canadians or Americans to have it on the Facebook first. Stephen Crow can take a back seat for a minute. Does great stuff. Not not knocking them at all, but uh, it would be, would be nice for us to get a, a first kick at the can, so to speak. So, um, can't, I can't wait to attend. Uh, everything's locked in for that. Uh, I'm going to be attending with uh, Evan and Antonio from the OSBGL, uh, heading down on the Wednesday night to stay. Uh, really looking forward to it, especially with this announcement. Um, you know, the momentum of the hobby is amazing. Um, really looking forward to meeting uh, some of our American counterparts. And, um, you know, see how we as the Canadian team can perform. I know Antonio is just coming off a recent victory at Fog. I think he took first place, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, it's going to be a good time. Really looking forward to it. For those of you who are watching that will be in attendance, come and find me. Love to do a, uh, you know, whether we do a quick video or even just chat, catch up. Uh, you know, come introduce yourself. Don't be shy. Um, you know, uh, I'm there more so for the social aspect than anything else. Um, if there is a bar, uh, I'm probably going to be in it at some point. So find me there. Maybe the table playing. But I'm probably just going to be a pylon the entire weekend because competitive-wise, I don't play a lot. But I'm going for a good time. So looking forward to it. Uh, Articon SBG International. Uh, title keeps getting longer every time I check on that site. Uh, anyways, really impressive looking event. Last year, uh, we had some boys from Canada attend. Uh, I believe uh, Adam, Marcel, uh, Evan Woodruff, um, you know, there was definitely some people there. Said nothing but good things about it. Um, James Clark is sort of championing this project. Uh, he's a member of the GBHL. Uh, I'm not sure of other involvement from other people. It, it seems to sort of be a one-man show, which is completely crazy to me. Uh, if I'm wrong on that, please don't take offense. Just I don't I don't know if you're if you're helping or, or taking part. It just seems to be coming from James. So um, recently featured on the Warhammer community site, which is awesome. Uh, great that they're giving that platform to uh, SBG events. Uh, you know that's something that uh, the changes that are occurring at GW are, are you know tenfold incredible. Uh, you know that's that's all good stuff. So the fact they're getting engaged. Supporting events like this, uh, driving it, you know, uh, clearly somebody up there has got their head screwed back on straight, um, as opposed to the dark days. So let's all just take a minute and remember the dark days to those who have fallen. Anyways, they're over. It's done. That's it. So um, help them out wherever you can, even if it's just spreading the word. 
um, you know, online, liking, sharing, subscribing, whatever. Um, support your Hobbit hobby, guys. Um, hope everything goes off uh, well, and to all the Canadians that uh, are going to be in attendance, um, give those Tommies what for. That's it. Uh, jumping way onto the other side of the pond now, uh, Middle Earth Masters in Australia, July 1st and 2nd. I'm new to following that group. They've got some really cool content, really cool people. Um, you know, the engagement and discussion is, uh, is awesome. Um, I would, I would rate the OHA at sort of a PG-13. Uh, the Australian group is not PG-13. No, um, it is definitely for the more mature spg -er, so let that be a, a warning to those of you who have small children that watch this. I try to keep it, you know, as relatively, uh, non-offensive as possible. Um, not that the Australian site is offensive, just... You know, maybe a difference in language uh, between here and there, and what's maybe acceptable and not acceptable for children. But, uh, anyways, cool site. They're in preparations for a great big event, the Masters. Um, been following some of the painting that's been going on. There's some really uh, skilled hobbyists out there, so check them out at Australian L O T R uh, and Hobbit S B G community. Uh, and that is a Facebook group. Not sure if they're on Instagram or YouTube, but uh, anyways, check them out. So, um, as for PMP, man, that's it. That's all we got. There's uh, there's nothing else. I'm gonna go and enjoy my birthday. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of hobby time. Work on some Gimli. Uh, really excited to be painting an axe embedded in the nervous system of an Urukai. I mean, that just for Friday morning or Friday afternoon. That's awesome, right? Um, and as always, thank you guys very much for the support. Uh, it drives us to keep doing what we're doing. Um, you know, I know uh, OJ George, Costa, Evan, we're all very thankful for the uh, support, the interest, the likes, the views. Um, it's all great and, uh, you know, it keeps us motivated to keep current and up to date. And uh, we appreciate all of, uh, all of your commitment, you know, for tuning in every week or, or following the videos and checking us out. So... So thank you very much, and uh, happy hobbying. We will we'll talk to you uh, next week with the next episode of PMP. I'll probably switch back to pints, but for my birthday in the meantime, cheers, boys. Here's to you.